it has been around 40 days since last time I cleaned my Roidme Eva. And with these all-in-one solutions, uh, self-emptying and self-cleaning, it is really a thin part of where, where the tool becomes practical or more complicated to maintain. And this is wh what I want to show you this time. So it has been uh, 40 days, nearly everyday use of my Roidme Eva uh, uh, self-cleaning robot vacuum. So let's see the situation, how, how dirty it is and uh, so on. The first thing to show is inside. And after 40 days, this is how it looks. Uh, the vent is working right now. I will shut it down. Because, okay. So after 40 days, this is how inside of self-cleaning robot vacuum base looks quite uh, dirty if you ask me but it is functioning perfectly well without any clogging or something like that and this is the base as you can see, a lot of debris. Quite a nasty on both place, but it is working. This is how mops look like. I did, I did a final cleaning with them like one hour ago. And this is how they look. So these are clean. These are 40 days unwashed. I mean, uh, not washed in the washing machine, uh, just uh, uh, cell cleaned with the cleaning station of uh, vacuum robot. So I will do uh, one quick test. I will uh, place, uh, I will take one uh, paper, paper cloth and try to to swipe around and see how much dirt is actually in these uh, mops. And as you can see, no dirt at all quite impressive I mean there, there is a some micro dirt particles because when these dry out it is not that much of uh, black it is more uh, grayish not white like this but grayish uh, but the main point of this is uh, that uh, what actually you get here is uh, uh, that cleaning station is doing a very very good job uh, which means that when uh, the mops get cleaned they they are actually clean and your floor will, will be beautiful uh, okay we are finished with this and now I will start cleaning the docking station and show you what you need for that to properly clean uh, the docking station and self-cleaning station uh, you need uh, one bucket of water with sponge you need one microfiber cloth and something for uh, some kind of degreaser i like to use clean because it is universal and uh, really well uh, cleaning solution so to start take your bucket with water and sponge and stop collecting this debris as you can see really nasty and you need to do this over time uh, because if you don't do that at some point uh, 
the amount of debris inside can uh, reach that middle part and clog it, clog it out. This is the case for every robot uh, with self-cleaning uh, functionality. It is uh, just, uh, it, it, it can be perfect. It can be uh, maintenance free, at least not on the long run. So you need to do the, something about that. And uh, in my case, I didn't clean it for like 40 days and it is not, it is not that bad. And you can see that uh, cleaning is quite a, quite a simple. With, you know how they say, with proper tools, nothing is that much hard. This part here is a bit tricky to reach. <laughs> there is a, there is a something which you get from a, Roid me. It is for this because they know if this if this clog clogs up, it is a, it is a problem to unclog it. But uh, it is a lot easier with sponge. Trust me, you can pick up debris more efficiently and with bucket of water, you just clean it and uh, that's it. Deeper inside, there are these holes for water and uh, intake. You need to clean them also. Try to remove all debris and that should be good. As for this pad, you just uh, take it in your bathroom and wash it out from all this dirt. And this is how it looks after I finished. Uh, of course, you can go completely into detail and remove every particle of dirt, but I don't find that needed at all. I love to uh, to use clean because there is alcohol in it and just do a final wipe to remove any kind of uh, grease or something like that. This is also not necessary at all. But cleaning a robot itself is self-explanatory. I will clean the brush and the wheels, a usual. The robot itself is cleaned from the bottom. We have a Replace the mops with uh, clean ones and that would be it. New mops are on. All ones mode. need to go in washing machine. And... Start recharging. That's it. The device is completely cleaned, looks beautiful. I'll give it a final wipe. And yeah. I really want to do uh, my final conclusion or opinion about these kind of devices. So, uh, if you if you have a really good tool, uh, that tool can be the great the best tool or the, the worst uh, it is the worst tool if maintenance for that tool is uh, more than usefulness of uh, that tool with that said uh, we have a self-cleaning robot vacuum 
and uh, I can conclude that uh, uh, the cleaning process which you really need to do at least once per month or I did it in 40 days but uh, as you can see it probably can go up to two months between cleanings uh, what you need to do what you need to, to know is that if you don't do maintenance cleanings uh, your robot will uh, stop working it is simple as that because something will eventually clog up and uh, make uh, unrepairable damage or at least expensive repair which won't be uh, practical to to do at all uh, so the my, my point is that if you keep cleaning it and maintaining maintaining it you will have a, re a reliable device uh, which will clean up your apartment or house uh, in my personal case, I'm using Roid Me Eva, but this is the case for every robot self-cleaning robot vacuum. And uh, you you seen how much uh, debris and dirt was inside, and it was st still functioning. Functioning, and mostly important, the mops were clean. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you find this useful, like and subscribe. It will really be helpful for me. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. Write it down. I will gladly answer and help because these tools are meant to be helpful to us. And by sharing experience, we help each other. Until next time, see ya.